my name's Walter Howell, and uh, I have a shop here in Henry, Alabama, and we're having a uh, forage festival, having some local blacksmiths here, and hot dog vendors, and snow cones. You know, it's entertainment. You, should, you don't get no better than that. The gentleman in the cowboy hat is Robert Lee. Uh, the gentleman in the dark glasses is Richard Abernathy. Uh, they're both what I call traditional blacksmiths. The gentleman to my left over here is Jesse Hemphill, and he's a bladesmith. And uh, Jesse's going to be taking a knife from beginning to end today. Like I said, my name's Walter Howell, and I'm what they call a, a uh, artistic blacksmith. helps promote things that are core values of, of community and uh, helping your neighbors and, and doing things not for quick and easy but for, um, for quality. We're glad to be here and that's one of the reasons for the event today. It's more about appreciation of this community. Um, the Smiths that are working out here are area people that our friends that Walter's met since he's been here that have helped us and, and just become good friends, not just because of the kindredship of the blacksmithing, but um, of the community. It's a farming community. It's, it's good people, down-to-earth people, and uh, just a real good reception for what we have here. And just fellowship. Golly, that's such a big part of it. Walter so enjoys talking to, to people and, and hearing the stories and <clears throat> sitting down. I've got pictures on our website of fathers and sons sitting on the ground watching Walter work and they're talking to what the fathers are talking to the sons about what's going on. That is neat. And I think it was one of the presidents said that if you do something, you make a living at something you enjoy, you'll never work a day in your life. Well, Walter plays every day, let me tell you. <laughs> and you could probably take that and pour it on top of your head about now. <laughs> yep. It's a little warm out here. I had here. a guy come up, he said, that's a hot job this time of year. I said, this is a hot job in January. <laughs> And I'm a local boy and I make knives and Mickey wanted me to display my stuff here, that's all. That's uh I made all these and there's no two alike. I tanned all the goat hides and uh, deer hides and whatever. And they all have a different handle and A different, this is a two edge, and that's a seashell right there. And that's a rib bone from a cow, and it's double edged, so it cuts going in and coming out. And uh, they're all serviceable. We tanned out my own deer feet. And that's about it. Hey, my name is Russ Williams. My company is Little Rob's Hot Dogs. My son, Robert Hemphill. Uh, we live in Fort Payne up on Lookout Mountain. And I set up down Cross from the Alabama statues nearly every day that the weather will permit. Uh, we've been here almost a year now as far as the hot dog business. So come down and enjoy. We try to serve only the finest food we can put our hands on and everything has to pass my taste test. I'm just gonna introduce 
Christian Paulson, okay. who has a song for the hot dog man. I love the hot dog man, he runs the hot dog stand. He sells most anything from hot dogs on down. Someday I'll change his life, I'll be his weenie wife. Hot dog, I love the weenie man. <laughs> I'm Kristen and I'm from Somerville, Georgia. I got a regular little business card and then I got a fancy business card. And so this is my fancy business card. It just goes to really good people. Hello, my name is Barbara and I'm with Barbara's Shaved Ice. We're out of Mintone, Alabama. What we do is have a good time selling shaved ice. And what we like to do is special events and fundraisers, community activities. We like to participate in a lot of community activities. Come join us. I've been working with Walter for a few years, helping him out and stuff around the shop, the shows and everything. How did you get interested in Blacksmith? Oh, I met him several years ago down at Sequoia Caverns, actually. He was doing a demonstration and just stuck with him from then. <laughs> things the more you know the less you have to have you know and I think is that true in any just about any craft you know when I started you got to have a big two thousand dollar belt grinder and a three thousand dollar anvil and blah 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 and it turns out you really some place to hit and something to grind with and that's a really that's the basics of what you got to have really to get started and uh, this I got this out of the scrap yard and I just uh, uh, I like the size of it. I don't have to bring my big anvil out, you know. And uh, it works for what we want to do. To me, blacksmithing is simple. It's like washing your hair. It's like heat, beat, repeat. Heat, beat, repeat. I mean, it's just that simple. So. <laughs> what do we got here? I think it's a hound. So Walter says you built it. Yeah. That was a railroad spike. He may be. Yep. Wow. You take it out. Oh man. Damn. Wow. Yeah, this Mr. Daryl made this. Yeah. You can sort of explain yeah. it to him, Daryl. Yeah, tell me a little bit about yeah, that. Tell me about it, Darryl. Yeah. It's made out of Beautiful. a sawmill circular saw blade. That's what I made it out of. And that's very, very fine work now. Are you that, a professional? No. <laughs> that's a, a got a walnut handles on it. It's a bicentennial quarter. Mm -hmm. I made it for a bicentennial knife. And this is made out of insulation. It goes in a switch box. What's made out of insulation? The handles. The handles. I'll be. So how did you get into knife making? Do you do all kinds of blacksmithing? Or? No, I, I just, just did this for a hobby. <laughs>